that's our safety topic, Princess. Thank you very much, Austin. Lower North Boundary, rope fence down. <laughs> they winch, ecstasy, gold, silver, and browns. Jackrabbit, boundary bowl, peace blue. Where's the big man, big man? Mm -hmm. Jasper, I've been the supervisor of trail crew for about five years now, but I've been on the crew for upwards to around 16 years. My favorite part of being the supervisor, probably not having to pound as much tea steel as I used to I was just about to say that. And, uh, you know, having a little bit of artistic design on the mountain of where I want to put my fences, where I think that they serve the best, you know, usage. And I really enjoy the job, otherwise I wouldn't be here anymore. It's physically demanding and rewarding, um, and you become a good skier. I think he carried 21 steel on his back, three fences for 200 meters. Big breakfast, big lunch, nice beer at the end of the day. <laughs> when you're signed out, of course. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ben, and I'm on the trail crew here at Sunshine Village. Hey, I'm Kelsey, I'm one of the foremen on trail crew here at Sunshine Village. Hi, my name is Holly, and I'm on trail crew at Sunshine Village. Park <laughs> crew are the hardest thing about this job. Look at them. They don't turn. I'm joking. <laughs> So, usual day on trail crew, you're up at 6 in the morning, getting the bus, heading up, signing in at 8. We get our uniform and boots on straight away. We have our daily safety meeting every day, so we have a topic for the day, something that we're working on or whatever, and we'll go around the room with different safety points, getting everybody involved. How many people do you want? And then we head out, usually catch first chair, um, do our morning checks, and then start our job task for the day. I think the team works great. Like everyone works together and helps out and switches roles. If your hands get too cold doing something, you can switch out with someone else and they'll take over, so. Normally we ski around the mountain and blitz everything as a one big unit, which is quite satisfying because sometimes you look at a job and it's massive and you just, Everyone just piles in and gets it done really quickly, so it's quite good. Working hard, it's really, it's really satisfying at the end of the day, you know, you've done a solid day's work and it's, yeah, it's a rewarding job for sure. It's all about the sweet, sweet pal. Uh, snow fences, so those big black plastic fences that you see all over the mountain, they are designed to catch snow in high winds. So, we put them at 90 degrees to the wind, and then the wind blows the snow. It's caught on the other side, um, and then... And then, yeah, we check the fences. So you see us de-rhyming them, which is us smashing them with our poles. <laughs> um, the, all the rhyme on the snow can uh, get in the way of the fence catching snow. So if it's all rhymed up and blocked up, then the snow can't blow through the apertures. We whack the fences <laughs> to get rid of the snow. It gives better results. So the harder you hit it, the better as well. And the better it feels, too. Yeah. <laughs> Don't try and jump over our snow fences just because they are T-steel that are in the ground and you wouldn't want to land on top of something like that and just to obey all um, area and avalanche closures just because they're closed for a reason, um, it's for your own safety. Yeah. Definitely to obey closures um, just because we have that area closed for a reason and we're trying to get it open for people eventually so just to stay out of there so we can do our job. For you guys, <laughs> and it's safer for, for them too, for sure. Hi, I'm Ben, and this is uncomfortable. Oh, Jasper, Crowd Chalker Supervisor. Hi, I'm Holly. I'm. This is my first year on Chalker here. <laughs> <laughs>